Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video we have to figure out what to do with Flong. Flong is currently stranded on the surface of Lathe in a somewhat broken space plane and currently out of electric charge I guess because SAS is holding stuff. Uh, let me turn that, yes okay so uh, I think the brakes will be able to handle it without, without SAS on so okay now we're recharging so you know that crisis averted. Uh, what we can see here is that we are missing the entire outboard wing of the plane on the right side. So one of those pieces, you know, these pieces here. If we can move some of these pieces over here, as people have suggested, that might be helpful. We're missing the jet, well, the ram jets, which would be super for actually taking off. Um, that would have been nice. But we can get rid of some weight. Uh, we have the rover in the bay, and so the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that. So we're doing the whole Martian thing here, seeing what we can get rid of. And we'll see what Flong can do about moving parts. But first and foremost, I'm going to hope that this doesn't go too crazy when I unlock it. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, I should just pin those. And we sort of have to do them in sequence, otherwise it's going to oh, rock all over the place. I think this one is a positive, and this one's negative, so negative, positive, so it's like that. But I would like to have Flong take off all these pieces and the docking port as well, not just the dump the rover. And yeah, I, I could have used the robotics controller for this sort of deal, but... I haven't gotten used to that yet. We have to be care oh, oh, we busted tires, but that doesn't matter because I don't care about the rover right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I could have done that a little bit better. Oh, the, the busted tires are really very busted. <laughs> That's an impressive amount of being busted there. Oh, and let's start a fuel cell. Oh, we don't have control. Oh, I, I need to extend the commutron before... Oh gosh. Um, long. I, I don't really want the rover, but we would at least like to clear it from the place. Let's have you try and extend that antenna first. It's right there. Why, why can Flong not turn the fuel cell on? Is that something we can't do in, in EVA? Okay, fine. Uh, as much as I hate this, board the darn thing. Okay, now we have control, but we don't have power. Can you turn the fuel cell on now? Now you can start the fuel cell. Did we not? I guess we didn't have enough fuel in this. Come on. We need to get to sunlight. Oh no. It's out of gas. Alright, I, I don't care anymore. <laughs> we got it out. Okay, Flong. Oh, don't clip into the landing gear. I don't know what that'll do. I haven't auto I mean, not auto saved. I haven't quick saved yet because these things would have to happen. You know, getting the extra mass off would have to happen every time. Um, I I don't. Yeah, time to get the other mass off. Okay. Right. Can I just? Fine. That's not actually attached to. Okay. Good. Had me worried for a sec. Can I just grab a whole bunch of stuff at the same time? No. I guess that's probably neater. There's another hinge up there. I don't know how heavy the hinges are. Can Flan get that? Oh, there's a part attachment. Something is still attached to that hinge. I don't see anything. Maybe we should activate the hinge and doesn't seem to have anything attached to it. Well, it doesn't want me to detach the hinge, so I guess that's going to be sticking there. I don't know if we need the air brakes, but they're fairly light. So, let's see. Can I get that that one wing part? Okay. Can we 
That's too big for Flong's inventory. I'm just gonna leave that be there. That one is too heavy. Well, that's a bit of a pickle. Okay, so the only wing part that we can move is a control surface. Which is awkward. I wonder if we could... Uh, yeah. Well, we can push the rover away. Maybe that's a good thing to do. Just get in the back and push. Oh, I think the wing piece is sort of stopping it. Got a lot of science on it though. We've got the seismometer, the gravioli. Gravioli doesn't work on the surface though. I don't know how to sort of shift it off to the side. Um, oh, we, we have that gizmo. Okay, good times. We could shift it out arbitrarily holding shift and put it all the way out here and it'd have a lot of leverage, but I won't do that. That's sneaky. I'll make sure it looks like it has some sort of connection to things at least. I don't think we need to drug shoot. Because of the wing pieces being missing, our center of lift will have moved further forward. I haven't checked anything in the SPH. Some people suggested checking things in the SPH. No, we'll wing it first. Pardon the pun. Um, so just temporarily, I'm gonna activate these engines and see what kind of... That scared me for a sec there. It says 2,237 meters per second, uh, but I suppose that's at this altitude. First wave ratio only 0.55 at this altitude. In vacuum, we can't really see right now, but it, it's not a whole lot. I think, well, we have an excess of liquid fuel. We have more liquid fuel than we should have. That's because of these two tanks. And, but I didn't put any way to dump fuel onto this. That might be another thing that we should fix in the next iteration of this particular space plane. But, as of this moment, I don't see any way of dealing with that. Uh, zooming out, it's a bumpy terrain too. And we'll have to head out, we're, we're currently facing north, northwest. And we, we'll probably want to go out that way. Okay, now it is time to quick save. Flong Rescue 1, we'll say. Um, I don't think that was important. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be picky. Let's just go in this direction. Oh, there's other pieces. Uh, oh, 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 that's not good. Hmm. Oh, dear. The landing gear has decided that it, has, it wants no part of this. The landing gear wants no part of this business. It's lamenting the loss of its comrade on the other side. Okay, well. Cannot quick load in this scenario. Right. Hmm. Oh, no, here. Allow quick load. Uh, I can't do it right now. Nope, I can. Okay, accept. Close. Resume. Long rescue. Maybe we need to just balance the mass out. I mean, those are not that heavy. Can Flong actually pick that up? Seems that way. Why don't we try and... It's a little bit weird. That's that's highly experimental right there. Oh, the Commutron 88-88 is that heavy? Shoot. Surprising. I feel like I do want to keep the docking port centered on it. It might not matter, though. You can put that on here. In a pinch, I'll go to the SPH and try and figure this stuff out properly, but... Well, I guess we move what we can. Oh, we don't need the air intakes. But they are sort of providing some aerodynamics. I don't think we can take them off. I think they're too heavy. It's not even giving me a little option, so... They are not manipulatable. 
I am leaving the parachute with Long. I've thought of that one. And of course the EVA pack. I can see scenarios where those might be useful. Well, this time we'll start going right away. And I won't try and pull up until we have more speed. Oof. Uh, oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. No, uh, oh. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at it in the SPH. <laughs> but there's sort of a limit to uh, what we can do, right? We've got some pieces lying around. We could maybe take bits of the rover and put it on here. But, all right, let's see it in the SPH. Okay, well, I've tried to mimic the current situation, minus some of the other uh, replacements that I did. Renovations. Uh, and, well, it's clear that trying to move mass over to that side was the wrong move. Actually, it really seems like the extra mass of the wing here wasn't the big deal. I was thinking of trying to counterbalance the wing, wing's mass, but really we need to move mass over onto this side in order to move the center of mass over here, but obviously that's not the biggest thing. The biggest thing is that with the canards, the center of lift is way too far forward. And, well, uh... We could try and move some fuel forward because we're not fully fueled. Let's say we dump, or not dump, but uh, empty that tank or this tank. But we're not that empty on fuel. We, even emptying those tanks back there is probably not doable if we want to keep as much fuel as possible. And Delta V wise, uh, whoops, sorry. Uh, Delta V wise, without the fuel in the back, we have 2,900, which I don't really think is enough to... Oh, I forgot to take off the drug shoot. Um, get off of lathe. We really, really, really need to be able to move these back, like, into horizontal stabilizer position. And even then, it's a tough thing, right? Even then, we need more. Pulling this over here, as I did... This is the one thing we were able to do. We did it something like that, and that was overall a good move, even if we put the canards back forward. You know, it's uh, marginally better. We could move this one, but then we have no control surfaces on this side. Uh, though we do have the canard, but that's really imbalanced. But, okay, let's say I shifted this over to this side, too. Mm, the center of lift is not telling me anything new. <laughs> oh no, I guess it did move a little bit, but it's not huge. So, not the biggest difference. So, what if we slap the rover onto this side? Uh, the rover is too light. It doesn't move the center of mass substantially at all. Even if we took the entire rover, which we wouldn't be able to, we'd have to take it part by part. Mm, I, I don't think we can move the engines, though that would be wonderful. Um, we, we'd have to do something fancy, though, like tilt this one just like that or something. Maybe, uh, but it really doesn't fix the center of lift. Um, Delta Deluxe 0 0.078. Now we know we could move that Elevon out there. That's 0 0.06. It's possible we can move these, but they're in the best possible position right now. Um, maybe if we went like that and moved them as far back as we thought plausible. How heavy are these that we can't move them? 0 0.1. Now, I don't know if we can actually move these. I don't know. Uh, if I mean, the best thing to do would be to dump the wing parts, but we can't seem to do that. I and mean, even these, or move them back, but... Hmm... As long as I don't have the ability to move uh, these wing pieces that are 0.1 tons, which is just beyond Flung's mass capabilities, apparently, uh, I cannot 
fix the aerodynamics of this we'd have to move stuff further back and mainly i mean these elevons aren't going to be powerful enough we need to move actual wing pieces further back and uh, also move some to the other side if possible but i can't move enough i have thought about trying to wreck the wing pieces but of course the ones that we need to wreck most are the two canards because they're pulling the center of mat the center of lift forward and if we try and wreck this wing for instance we're just going to have the center of lift move further forward and it's just gonna be very imbalanced so maybe i mean i might as well give it a try while i'm here right so all right um I'm not going to take any other pieces off or anything. We'll just uh, go with it and fully expect to die. <laughs> so this is just a test. I'm deliberately going to wreck them by retracting this gear and then... I, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> no, we're just dragging. No, it's because I retracted both gear. I wanted to retract just one. Um, remove from symmetry extend right that's more like it that was the lean I was looking for uh, maybe we should get up to speed first and then retract okay shut off <laughs> Uh, we, we, we can do that more efficiently later, I suppose. Oh, it's turning in a good direction. Okay. All right. Um, but obviously center masts and center lift are not in a good position, but at least the center of lift shouldn't be too far askew in one si on one side. That might be good. This is just an experiment here. Again, uh, certainly not expecting that this is going to work out at all. Well, uh, yeah, it's just going to flip like that because of the center of lift being where it is. Ooh. So we could get rid of the wing pieces like that, but it's the wrong wing pieces and there's no way to... Oh, that's fancy. Uh, there's no way to get rid of the canards like that, I don't think without risking the cockpit at least if you could rip off the cockpit as well then that'd be something right uh, but uh oh hmm what okay this is a bad idea but hold on <laughs> uh right uh, let's i mean th what what i'm thinking of would incur a lot of drag and that would be bad but hey again we're here what if we use the command chair on the rover and flong wasn't in the cockpit at all and we had the front end rip off but then we'd have a blunt end in you know in contact with the atmosphere so that's not good but we could get rid of the canards that way also the cockpit is pretty heavy Right, well, this is going to be fun. So again, we'll get up to speed and then we'll retract the landing gear up front. This is not going to go well, but... <laughs> uh, has the benefit of not having been tried. Okay, retract. Oh shoot, the nose is... Come on, just a little dip will do. Oh, okay, right, 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 that's actually what we wanted, kind of. But now, I, oh, the front landing gear though. We need the front landing gear. We lost the canards! We obviously don't have much pitch authority anymore. Ooh. Oh, oh, yes, no. Yes, no, no, yes. Long still alive. <laughs> uh, 
look. Flong's okay. But <laughs> no, no, I don't want these other pieces. Flong, hello. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, can you move the landing gear further back, Flong? Too heavy. And um, can't just move it like that. Well, now I think I am out of ideas. At least we could keep trying and maybe we'd randomly hit upon a, a right combination of explosions that would get us in a situation where we could at least start going up properly. But even then, I don't think we have the Delta V. Now, if we lose the cockpit, maybe we do have the Delta V. It's tough to say. But I think we have to look at getting Flong a proper rescue mission instead of trying to get this into the air. So that is what I'm going to look at. And I'll make that our priority, even though, of course, we have lots of missions. Uh, Flong does have the... You just thought the Lifestone, right? No, that's probably still in the cockpit. Now, see, I would have forgotten all about that. Why don't you just get back into the... No, you know what? Get all the data from the cockpit and stay in the command chair. That way you'll always have it. Take data. Okay, the all-important lifestone. Um, I guess Flong can transmit. I wonder if uh, we we have communications. If we transmit the one piece of life science, we can at least get this surface science thing done. Well, it seems like we have comms. Okay. Um... We don't have a whole lot of electric charge, though, so let's wait. Oh, it's, it's getting darker. Okay. That we keep. That we keep. The EV report we can transmit. Okay. So that fulfills that contract. Now, again, so that we don't forget the stuff, let's take the data and put Flong in the command chair instead. The thing is, we need some sort of craft that will land very precisely here. And the thing that would do that the easiest would be a space plane, but we've always obviously seen the downside of that given the the terrain. We've got very bumpy terrain that's not very hospitable to space planes. So we're gonna need a regular lander, but one that can land here precisely despite the thick atmosphere. So that is going to be interesting. Okay, well, it seems like we're pretty much at the jewel window again. I guess a jewel window happens within the time it takes to actually transfer to jewel. In other words, those two number of days happen to be the same because this is the second time you know, I've had to try and rescue something and send something to Jewel. It so happens we were right at the window. So, yeah, that's pretty convenient if it's true. I'll have to double check on that. Okay, well, I think I've just made something that will also need rescuing. Uh, I've decided to name it Puck. That just came into my head, so... Okay. And, well, what can I say? It's probably going to need rescuing. We're not going to send it with a Kerbal, obviously. We've got controllers. We don't have comms. We need comms. Um, probably that's for the best. I'll just put it on top. What's the worst that can happen aerodynamically? Um, we've got a controller there because it's meant to VTOL down to the surface. That's It was either doing VTOL or doing parachute. Parachute might actually be better. It's not that heavy. It's 17 tons. That's like... Eight parachutes, ten parachutes tops, and when you think about the engines that we've got here, I've got to talk myself into using the parachutes instead at this rate. 0.18, right? So that, and we've got eight cubs because otherwise we don't. There's lathe sea level 1.75, so we we really wouldn't be able to set down or launch off again without uh, eight of them. And so the parachutes, though, that won't help us get off the ground, obviously, but it would help us sit down. They're only 0.1 a piece, so they're lighter, I mean, in terms of landing, but again, it doesn't help with takeoff. Will these cubs actually help with takeoff? That's a whole other question. 
to be honest, uh, it seems like we have enough of a takeoff run. Uh, if we take a look at the, how the Spirit of Jin was doing, it did have enough room. It didn't seem that bumpy. It got up to speed. So I might reconsider that and put parachutes on. We're going to test this uncrewed right now here and see how it does. As you can see, it is the first use of a rapier. I'm gonna, I, I thrust limited it to see where the center of thrust, mass, and lift were. And that that's where they are. I'm gonna pump back up again. I think we'll do a liftoff test with the Cubs first. And see how well that works out. It's a good thing we have a lot of budget. Uh, and... Maybe we'll light the rapier and try to get to orbit or something. It is an awkward arrangement. Obviously, we have this big intake on the top. It's the it's not my fault that they don't have 0.625 uh, meter intakes that are worthwhile. All the good ones, like the shock cone intake and this one, are both in 1.25 meters. So I, I would have liked to put something on the front of these Mark Zero tanks, but no. I don't know that if that's enough spare liquid fuel. The rest of them are liquid fuel oxidizer tanks. Who knows about the Delta V? It doesn't look like it's enough. But right now it's counting the Cubs, not the Rapier. So, well, okay. Let's just go for it. Oh, I better check that. We probably have to dump a Kerbal. One probably snuck in. Indeed, fill Cell snuck in. Looks pretty serious. Looks like a test pilot to me, but but let's not. Uh, we'll have to try this out. Un I mean, we'll be flying it uncrewed anyway, so. I am a little bit hesitant in using this particular cockpit because it has lower heat tolerances than the Mark II cockpit. But of course it's lighter, which makes it easier to make a smaller spacecraft. And we're not planning to carry two Kerbals for this. So, we'll give it a go. Oh, we, sh we should have liquid fuel in that. Let me make sure that's full and reposition the Cubs. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty close already, even with that fully fueled. But we might want to tweak uh, some Cub forward. Okay, at long last. SAS on. Crawl up, and let's see what happens on the vertical takeoff ignition. Whoa, lag. I swear that's like waterfall lagging. Okay, and then since we vertical take took taken off vertically, oh, it's it's going a little bit awry. It's going a little bit awry. Okay, and. Okay, switch to this mode. Yeah, there's this, this a lot of lagging stuff going on. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, wrong mode. It was in rocket mode. That's not right. Well, can it accelerate with all this drag in this mode? Definitely want to accelerate faster with this before going up, I think. But I don't want to go down into the water. We have a commsat overhead, but it'll be going by pretty quickly. And I don't think our internal comms have that kind of range anyway. Just going down, trying to get faster. It's not willing to break Mach 1. Oh, and we've lost comms. It'll keep flying for a while without comms. Uh, it's not going anywhere. I think this is too heavily laden for one of the rapiers. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any place for us to get comms anytime soon. Well, we're about to find how, find out how good an autonomous glider this is. The fact that it's already pitching up as it is probably isn't a good thing. Of course, it won't be completely light. It'll still have all that oxidizer. 
Okay, here it comes. Liquid fuel gone. Now what? We're at 14 kilometers here. Never broke the speed of sound. Wow, and it's probably going to stall at this rate. It's not pitched down enough. Wonder if I'd take it out of this warp. No, that looks like it's going to be even more likely to stall. But I'll give it a try. It's obviously maxed out its pitch control here. But I guess if it continues to hold itself, now nah, I've jinxed it. Um, we'll see. Uh, so far it's okay. I'm worried about doing fizz warp. I think if it splashes down at this speed, it's not going to be too bad. Right? Maybe? Well, we're getting even slower here at 2 kilometers, and it still seems alright, sorta. I think if it was actually empty, it'd do pretty well. Uh, 200... It's going down pretty fast. 100... Uh... Ooh! Nice! Completely uncontrolled splashdown. Uh, I mean, we could work on it. I mean, it seems to have some positive aspects. <laughs> Though, I don't know. On Leif, this would not help at all. I mean, we can't just go up here and say recover vessel on Leif, unfortunately. But, okay, I'll think about it. Maybe the parachute option would be good. Obviously, we need better comms. Um... Obviously, we need more power because we weren't really passing the speed of sound very easily. So, some redesign will be warranted, but we might be going with this kind of option. I'll think more about it, but we are at the jewel window and we intend to rescue our Kerbal on Lathe, Falong. So, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.